There's been a lot of times in my life where I can feel my focus kind of drifting about. I'm not as dialed in, I'm not as locked in as I should be. And even right now is one of those times, right? I haven't been focusing on the goals that I set out intentionally, but winter is coming. Winter is right around the corner. It's about to be October, spooky season, the beginning of the winter arc. Winter in itself is a season of going inward, retreating, and transforming, getting ready for spring, right? And I've set a lot of goals that I have to accomplish by the end of this year, you know? I signed up for a full marathon, which I've never done before. In December, I'm running a half marathon in preparation, literally next Sunday. <laughs> and I wanna bench 315. I've been saying I wanna get that 315 bench for a long time, but I haven't been prioritizing it. I've just been saying it. And I wanna start training in Muay Thai next month as well. So there's a lot of things on my plate and I have to attack it tenfold. I have to dial it in. I have to reset, get my focus back on track so I can really hit those goals by the end of the year. And it, this, is, this is the perfect time, the winter arc. So I've established a couple of principles, rules for myself that I can follow on my winter arc, and hopefully you can take it and use it for yourself. Beginning with number one, start before you even know how. This plays into a lot of things. Like even for this YouTube channel, I was contemplating starting this channel for six plus years. I was so nervous. I didn't want people to know I had a channel. I didn't know what to do, how to edit, how to make a video even interesting or engaging. I still kind of don't know how, <laughs> but, but I'm better at it as I'm going along, hopefully. Like even with the gym, when I first started going to the gym, I was wearing stringers and I probably weighed like 120 pounds in high school. And I, I couldn't even bench 10 pounds on both sides. It's literally nothing, right? And even for this full marathon that I'm about to do, I fucking hate running. I don't have gear. I don't have, you know, all of that jazz. I don't know how to bench your VO2 max and heart rate and all that. Fuck all that. Just run. When you kind of just sit there and you fall into this analysis paralysis, you're like, oh my God, should I do that, 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 that. There's 10 billion things on your mind when you should just go. And when you think about the master, the, the artist, the black belt, the great skateboarder or whatever, they were once a beginner, just like us, just like you and me, and they didn't have a clue how to how to do anything, you know, they drawed crappy, they skateboarded really bad, or they were a white belt and they didn't know what to do. The only difference is that they just kept going and they weren't afraid to look like a beginner. So start before you know how, don't be afraid to look clueless. Moving on to number two, prioritize your body and books. Right, I've made these commitments to myself, you know, running the marathon, the three plate bench, the Muay Thai training, right? So I have to be sharp. Like I love taking supplements like multivitamins, I have fish oil pills, and I've recently been taking it Magic Mind, the world's first mental performance shot for over the past 20 days. And I'm not just saying this, I've really noticed an actual difference on the days where I take the shot in the morning and on the days that I don't. I just feel so much more cognitively sharp and I'm able to stay awake in class, I'm able to be engaged, focused, really dialed in for a good majority of the day, and I don't have that caffeinated crash at the end of the day like I usually do if you take like a Red Bull or coffee, things like that. It's really been giving me that um, sharp edge that I've been looking for. I'm also a really big fan of the packaging that it comes in, I absolutely love it. So please get a box of Magic Mind yourself. Check out the link in the description box below and use code PRESTON20 for up to 48% off your first subscription for the next 10 days. So back to our body and books. Benching three plates has been on my mind for the past two years. Ever since I hit 225, two plates on the bench, I was like, you know, I have to go that extra, that extra step, you know, I have to get three. And I've just been toying with the idea, not really dialed it in. So I've just recently started this specific benching program. I think it's called the Smolov Junior. And my goal is to get that 315 bench within a matter of a month, if not by the end of the year, perfectly fine with me. But I need to hit that 315 bench. And also something short that I wanted to talk about is surrounding yourself with the right people is very important in terms of this transformation, in terms of this winter arc. You don't want to be around people that weigh you down and kind of sway you away from your goals, right? So even at the gym, you have to be surrounded with the right people. Like, if you're going to the gym with your friends and there's four of you and you're all trying to bench, you're going to take like an hour on the bench and your workout's going to be trash. You have to be with people that will check you and be like, hey, you're not working out that hard. 
dial it in. Like I have gym friends that will push me to get that extra rep out and I absolutely love it because if they weren't there, I wouldn't do it. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't work out nearly as hard if I didn't have a partner. And I've got mentors that I can go to for advice if I need it. So you have to cater your environment to support you in that way, even with your friends outside of the gym, your coworkers, family, whatever. Stay away from people that aren't on that sort of transformation that you are on during this winter arc. And not only is it about prioritizing our body, but we need to prioritize our mind as well. I've been getting back into reading a lot. I kind of fell off a bit this year, but that's the point of this arc, right? I have to reset, get locked back in. And I know you're probably tired of hearing people say, oh, read, and you're like, God damn, I fucking, everybody talks about this bullshit, read a book or whatever. But it's so true because <laughs> like when you don't read, you kind of think the same thoughts over and over again. At least that's what I do and what I've noticed because there's no new information coming in from books. I guess maybe you could have information from like YouTube videos and stuff, but your thoughts and your ideas are kind of the same. And when you actually sit down and read a book, you sit with new thoughts for a lot longer than say a YouTube video, right? Because you're actually taking the time to engage and think about what you're reading. So it really helps me be a little bit more introspective and maybe have the possibility because a book can completely change your life. You buy the right book and you could be completely revamped into a different person, right? That's why whenever I'm interested in a book, I just buy it online. Like if I see something that interests me, I just buy it. I don't even worry about it. I have it come in, I read it. If I don't really enjoy it, I just toss it. I'm not gonna force myself to read it. Maybe I'll come back to it. But, but they can literally change your life and your mindset. 15 bucks, that's it. You know, it could be completely life-changing. So books are very valuable in my opinion. And I know you're tired of hearing people on self-improvement say read books or whatever, but it is so true. So prioritize your body and your mind. This will make you unstoppable. The next thing I wanted to talk about is the law of fours. We're surrounded with cycles of four. Okay, there's four seasons in a year, spring, summer, fall, winter, right? Each of these seasons represent a transformational change with the environment around us. And even with school years, right? There's your freshman year, sophomore, junior, senior. Even when I was in the military, I had a four year contract and every year I completely transformed and changed from who I was the previous year. And even in one year, a year is broken down into four quarters, right? You have January, February, March, quarter one, um, April, May, June, quarter two, and so on. So you can really change who you are each quarter, which is not that much time at all, which is why we're drastically changing ourselves during quarter four, right? The winter arc, it's perfect timing, right? To get ourselves ready for next year. You can become a completely different person in just three months, one quarter. There's, there's constant cycles in life with seasons and things that you just have to embrace, right? So you might as well go along with the flow of what that season is. And moving on to number four, limit your death scrolling. We all do this. We're all a victim to social media, to the big companies that control our attention. YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, all of us, every single day we're on our phones, mindlessly scrolling for at least a couple hours, if not one hour. Come on, like, don't lie to me. You, you do it a little bit. You probably were just doing it now. <laughs> but we have to limit our death scrolling, especially during the winter arc. And for me personally, I find myself sitting in my car, like before I'm going to the gym and I'll be on Instagram and TikTok and I'm like, wait, why am I even here? Like I've been scrolling for the past 10 minutes. I should go inside and work out, you know? Or I'll be at home and just scrolling and sitting around, you know? So it's, it's so weird how we just kind of fall victim. Like that's our first thing we want to do. So what I've been doing is setting time limits on my apps to remind me that, hey, you're spending way too much time on this app. And personally, it's been helping me. So you have to be a little bit ruthless with your time. Be intentional. Set those time limits on certain apps and don't allow you know it to just suck you in for two hours and you're just watching TikTok videos. <laughs> Because whatever you give your attention to, it will grow. And if you're giving your attention to Instagram, TikTok, it's not, it's not going to help you, obviously, in, during the winter arc. So set those limits, please. And lastly, principle number five, hibernate. 
So just like animals during the winter, like bears, they go into hibernation to rest and recover, we can do the exact same thing. Because it's a time to focus inward on ourselves. When it's cold and dark outside, that's the perfect time for us to dial it in. And how I do this personally is like, I don't go out as much to pointless events. You know, like I'm not gonna say yes to every invitation, every party, every, hey, let's go out here. Hey, what are you doing? Like, no, I'm, I'm busy. I'm focusing. I'm trying to be as locked in as possible to the goals that I've set out to complete at the end of the year. And the work that we put in for the winter sets us up for the spring. So during this winter, I'm resetting. I'm coming back 10 times better than I was before. And you don't have to have it all figured out. But once you just start, you will figure it out along the way. You prioritize your body, your mind. Set, set limits on the distractions, social media apps. Set boundaries on people and embrace the winter, embrace that winter arc. So if you like that video, please consider subscribing. I try to post at least about three to four times a month on topics just like this, on experiments that I have with life, trying to accomplish things and the lessons that I've learned. I just bring them here and talk to you about them. And also don't forget to check out the link in the description below for Magic Mind. Use code Preston20, 48% off. Hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that helps. Peace.